Hello everyone to another episode of Keto with Iggy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a perfect keto bread. It's made out of almond flour and it can be stored in the refrigerator for a couple of days. We are going to use 6 eggs separated into yolks and whites. We are going to use 150 grams of almond flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, half of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, some melted butter, 4 tablespoons to be exact, and we are going to add some flaxseed just for the taste. Now to the 6 egg whites we are going to add half of a teaspoon of cream of tartar and that will help us get that nice firm peaks that we want. Use a mixer and mix it on some medium speed and mix it for as long as you can. You have to get that firm peaks out of it. It will have to be as firm as possible because it will give you that nice fluffiness in a bread. There you go, something like that. Now we are going to take the egg yolks and we are going to add baking powder and some Himalayan salt. We are once again gonna mix it until it all incorporates together. To that we are going to add our 4 tablespoons of melted butter, melted before in the microwave. Just mix it all around until it's all nice and incorporated. There you go, something like that. Now we are going to add our almond flour and we are going to add it in three different batches. One third, and then mix it with egg yolks, then the second third and the final third as well. Just mix it all together till you get this nice dough. Now once we get the almond flour completely incorporated into the egg yolk mixture, we are going to start folding the egg whites in. Once again we are doing it one third at a time. Now just fold it gently because we want it to, to lighten the mix and not lose the fluffiness that we require. So if we just do it like this and fold it instead of pressing it, we won't let all the air out and it will be nice and dairy. I know it takes a bit longer than usual, but trust me guys, it's well worth it. Just take your time and fold it all over. Now take a ceramic wall, grease it with some olive oil, make sure it's all greased up so it doesn't stick. Transfer the dough inside, tap it on the top to make sure that it's as even as you can and it's ready to be baked. We are going to preheat our oven to 180 degrees celsius or 350 fahrenheit and we are going to bake it for 30 minutes. At around 25 minute mark check it with a toothpick, if the toothpick is dry it's ready. There you go, it looks amazing, golden brown and all. You can use it for sandwiches, just spread some ghee on it or something like that and enjoy. Hope you liked this video, if you did leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. 